Hey everyone, <coughs> I'm hoping I've got enough battery in this camera to do this. Oh, what? Six days I've had, I think it's been nearly six days. Six days tomorrow. So. Whew. Mum has settled in. <coughs> it's 16th of May tonight, by the way, so it's Wednesday. Gone 11 o'clock now. This is my third attempt at this vlog. So anyway, they moved in. I've been down there helping for the past couple of days. I'm going down again tomorrow. I don't have to, but I want to because I don't want to be sitting around here. I don't like it. Besides, I've actually found that when I'm active like this, my hemorrhoid doesn't play up as much. So I don't know if it's because when I'm active, my blood flow is better. Because <clears throat> a hemorrhoid is an inflamed blood vessel after all. So I presume, and I'm not a doctor, I'm just presuming that if you have poor blood flow, it could affect that. <clears throat> anyway. Still a hell of a lot to do. The kitchen is almost sorted, as in Mum's cleaned out all the cupboards and got all the kitchen stuff in place. Just got the um, floor to clean. We are sorting out the washing machine and the fridge freezer and basically the utility room tomorrow. Um, cause my stepdad's suffering at the minute because he's got bad back. Something like, I think it's a sciatic nerve or something they call it, which plays up a lot. As well as mobility issues and whatnot from his motorbike bike accident. My mum also has arthritis now in her back. <coughs> and to be honest, my legs bloody hurt. <laughs> because they're not used to all the walking around I've done <clears throat> and lifting and carrying and you know oh. but we'll get there it's going to be lovely when it's all done hasn't been painted in 17 years that place so needs fully painting all the paintwork, all the walls, everything has got to be done <clears throat> but uh, it'll get done when it gets done. Oh. But uh, today we pulled down the first of the three sheds. Because um, it was rotten as hell. It was rotten as a pear. How that was actually still standing there, I don't know. More by luck than judgement, I think. <laughs> it really was rotten. That had two floors. Because original floor had rotted so they put another one in with just some chipboard and other stuff they put on windows when they board it up board up a broken window or something <laughs> and then that had actually rotted as well so the floor was soaking when we picked it up the rest of the shed was dry the floor was soaking because there was no you know no gap for the wood to breathe under there it was just sitting right on the ground which meant that it was constantly damp so it just rotted it but yeah we took that down we burnt it second bonfire today there won't be one tomorrow because we've got nothing to burn i think the neighbors will be lucky but they haven't been around to complain which i think was good i was actually expecting it but we did make sure we only burnt wood and now maybe some paper and card although today we didn't burn any cardboard boxes <coughs> because of the wind <coughs> you know paper does go um, weird when it burns and you get all that floaty ash in it one box blew onto the bonfire and it did that and all this ash just went every friggin where so <coughs> we opted against um putting the cardboard boxes that we that they used for moving on there. I'll probably go down the tip or in the recycle bin. But the amount of crap around that garden that the previous tenant has left. There's four car tires, which we don't know what to do with, because obviously you take them down the local recycle centre, they're gonna charge. Um, 
totally forgot what I was going to say, so I'm going to move on, I think. Um, yeah, oh, last Friday I had a phone call from a compliance officer at the DWP, which over here stands for Department for Work and Pensions, which is basically the welfare agency. <coughs> and uh, they were just doing an, an, an interview over the phone, basically. She was writing everything down as a, a formal statement. Because, allegedly, I say that because some people have said that the DWP probably did this themselves. But apparently someone anonymously contacted them and said that my medical conditions have gotten a heck of a lot better. <coughs> and that I deal... Oops, sorry about that. And that I deal in collectibles. So because of that, and probably because of my honesty, but... Um, because they asked me if I had a PayPal and an eBay account, of course I said yes. Because I could probably easily find out anyone, and I didn't want to take that risk, because obviously it's got to go against me. So I said yes, and then they asked, do you sell, buy, or just buy, or just sell? And I said, a bit of both. I didn't at first, I actually said just buy, but I thought, nah, better, you know, be honest. So I said a bit of both, just a bit of selling here and there with some personal artifacts and whatnot, you know, personal belongings that I no longer need want. So that's all gone down in my statement as well, but obviously they want to, obviously want to double check that with the statements. So I've got to print off the bank statements and get that posted. My throat's going dry because this is my third attempt at this. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was really ticked off that day. Because I assumed, you know, someone had reported me for it. You know, making up some bullshit. I claim employment and support allowance because of my autism. <clears throat> because, you know, I've got all that social anxiety and whatnot, and I absolutely hate coming out of my comfort zone because of that anxiety, because I feel so awkward when I'm, you know, in a social setting, in a group of people. The only way I can describe it is my mind just farts, basically. Which is why most of the time, if I'm in a group of people, I just sit there quiet. Um, but the, the daft thing is, replies to the conversation I had is going through my head, but they just don't come out of here. This doesn't work. Which makes me feel awkward as well. And if it does work, it doesn't come out right. So, you know, I just feel awkward. I just, I really, it makes me feel uncomfortable. Which then, obviously, leads to the social anxiety. And, uh, yeah, it's the worst part of my autism. It's the part that I wouldn't want my autism fully cured. Um for mul multiple reasons, but if I could cure a part of it, the social anxiety and the social awkwardness side of it would be it. But I wouldn't want it cured, because it makes me me. You know? And I do believe that it's because of my autism, which is what makes me good with computers, the bikes, you know, the Lego, because to be honest, if I cured my autism, I probably would lose... Well, it would worry me that I would lose interest in things like that. Like my Lego. Hmm. 
<sighs> so yeah, I'm dealing with that at the minute as well. This is why videos have been a little bit scarce lately, because by the time I get home, I've just not felt like picking the camera up. Because I've got to edit it and whatnot, and I'm still quite awake, so I want to get this done now. <laughs> the other camera is charging, but I might switch that over to the laptop, because I've got a video on there that I want to edit up and get up as well. But while I've still got... <laughs> I'm actually running out of time. I don't want to go to bed late. It's nearly 11.30. I don't want to go to bed late. Because the earlier I can get up and get down to Mum's, the more I can help getting things done. I overslept again today. I didn't get down there as early as I'd have liked, but never mind. What else? There was something else. I've just I've done this video so many times I've forgotten now. Which is annoying. Oh yeah. Got a ladder through there that we're gonna have to try and get in the mum's car. <laughs> Had a fr I asked a friend if I could borrow one of his ladders. Because he's got loads in his workshop. Various heights and things, you know, various lengths, I should say, not heights and types. He's a self-employed gardener and whatnot. And he helps out a lot. One of his friends with gardening as well. <clears throat> so he's got all sorts. So he's loaned us one of his ladders so we can get into the loft, because we've got a load of stuff to go up in Mum's loft. Or the attic, I suppose, would be the correct term. Um, and the step ladder they've got down there isn't quite tall enough, not to get up there safely anyway. But uh, I'm hoping that we can leave that for tomorrow, just to give my stepdads and my mum's back at least a day's rest, because they've both got bad backs. Now I actually feel like my sore legs from all the walking and my sore feet are absolutely nothing compared to their backs. I can only imagine. The way they're both sort of hobbling around and whatnot, I'm going to say their backs are a lot worse than my legs. <clears throat> but anyway, I can't remember if I've already said, but I think tomorrow's plan of action is to tackle the utility room. Actually, I do believe I did say that. I don't know what else we can do. I want to, you know, try and keep the workload light, at least for tomorrow. <clears throat> It'd be great if we could get the stuff up in the attic, because I would leave a lot of room downstairs. So we could actually get the lounge organised. The only bummer is that when it comes to decorating, you've got to move everything again. But, needs must bathroom should be relatively easy because there's not a lot of wall to paint in there. Um, I'm going to take this plate into the kitchen, I think. Here's the other daft thing. Look, I'm eating bread again. And I've even had normal everyday cookies at Mum's, you know, with lactose and everything in, not the free-from ones. And my guts haven't changed. In fact, they've actually been a little bit better. Are you fucking serious? I've just filled his dish up twice since I've been home. And I was empty that and asking for some more. Jesus. Got some bread on there that'll do for breakfast. And there's a ladder. I've actually got a sore between two of my toes and my left foot because I've had a bit of athlete's foot in there and I've been scratching and made it sore. I'm a dumbass like that. Oh, I've got electrical work to do in the house as well as outside when the new workshops go up. But I think, aside from lacking some cable, I think I've got everything there. Should have enough power outlets. Might need a few extras. Got light switches. Got the fuse box. Which I'd want two other fuses for. And I 
I was going to want you know just have two circuits for both his railway room and the workshop but I'm actually thinking of redesigning the whole thing so they have a separate power supply each simply because if anything goes wrong in either one it's only going to shut down the power in one of the rooms not both if that makes sense you know I might do it that way I don't know I need to have a think of the best way to do it <coughs> um, mind you I suppose it doesn't matter too much mind you what I could do is put like the outlets in the workshop the power outlets on a fused spur because I've got plenty of those so if a fault did occur, occur I can actually shut down the sockets in the workshop alone without having to shut down the rest you know same with the lights that would be a good way to do it not I don't think I need a switched one I've got some unswitched ones I'll use those got some brand spanking new ones actually <laughs> which I'll use some bits and some carrier bags there still got some, I've got a load of bits in mum's car but they're a bit big to carry in carrier bags on the bike so when she's next up town we can drop them off or if we pick up the ladder tomorrow I can drop those off and put the ladder in the car uh, I will get in the shed and get a bike out that I want to sell because I don't want it anymore I've got a new one you know we're planning to get another one to replace it so I don't need two of them don't need two hybrids do I um right I'm sure I'm forgetting something oh yeah that's what I came over here for I've actually got one of these in the back of the car it's got a couple of drawers missing but never mind and another one of these which has got some trays missing but I really only took it because I wanted the trays because this one's missing a load when I say a load it's missing two so I may take another couple out of the other one sticking here so I've got now another complete one I've still got some Lego to sort out. I've been doing that when I've had free time. Not had a lot of free time over the past four, five days? Yeah. So I've been over at Mum's every day since Saturday so far. Oh, where is it? Of course, the previous tenant left a load of bloody rubbish out back. I actually found this in there. And it lights up, look. Runs on batteries, but. Ooh. I just think it's quite pretty, though. But the battery cover keeps falling off because it's broken. A couple of other things as well. Oh, a bag of rubbish here that's got to go in the kitchen. Let's move that over there. Other rubbish down here. A couple of bottles. My brother, as well, wants a um, Ethernet cable put up from the Internet hub into his bedroom because he wants a wired connection, I think, for his uh, his PlayStation and whatnot. I don't know if he's going to want it for his PC. If he does, then I've got a little hub that I can put up there for him. I'll ask him tomorrow, actually, if I remember. You know, like I've done in my bedroom, so I can run all the PCs on the uh, on the interwebs in here. You know, I've got another smaller one of them. Actually, I've got another couple I could use. I've got a blue one, blue Netgear one. I should still have one of those, and I've got some smaller four-port ones as well that work. In fact. No, I haven't got another one of them, but I have got like three or four smaller ones in a box in there, so... 
because I know he wants to get a PC eventually, but I don't know if he's going to want to use a Wi-Fi or... I mean, I could just stick that up there, then he could just, you know, plug whatever he likes into it. I think that's what I might do. But, uh, there was a cable going upstairs, but it was shit. I didn't trust it, so... It's a homemade job. In fact, there was two. So I just ripped them out. Because they didn't need them. I ripped them out because... <sighs> I've got this booger here. Brand spanking new one when I can get the camera in the right place. Which I thought I would uh, shove in for him. I don't know what the length of this is though. 10 meters. Oh bloody hell, that's more than enough. More than enough that is. I could put that wherever he likes. Because his bedroom is near enough above where the router is, so it'd be a piece of piss. So I thought I'd just rip out the old shit that was all just cable clipped in untidily as well. It was just slapped in. And I'll do a nice neat job of it. I mean, I've actually done that quite a lot in this flat. Like, neat cable clipping. You know, that's actually relatively tidy, isn't it? Yes. got me another camera charging because I want to do a short video tomorrow of uh, the garden and actually take some photos. I've got some before shots. That's going to take some serious. I actually had to repair the fence again. The bottom fence is rotten as hell and it just keeps falling down. Every time we get a gust of wind it falls to bits. <clears throat> and because mum's got dogs, uh, we've got to try and keep them in the garden. I've got a lot of stuff to do the new fence with. It's just getting the time and the energy to do it. I think we'll have, to, well, like my stepdad said, we're going to have to do it when my brother's not working. Because we've got concrete posts and they're fucking heavy. <laughs> they really are heavy. Right, I think I've actually worked out fluorescent likewise for the workshop and railway room. We've got enough. There's one coming out of the kitchen, because that's where Mum wants that light fitting. And I said I could put that one up in her utility room for her. I think that would be nice in there. Or even in the dining room. I could put it in the dining room for her. Don't bother me. And if that one isn't... She said about putting a light at the other end of the kitchen, but... If that one isn't adequate enough, I will do that for her. I'll stick another one at the other end of the kitchen. Find something to stick up there. <clears throat> it's not going to be long before I go to bed. I wanted to get down there early today, but I overslept again. Well, I deliberately overslept yesterday because I was so friggin' knackered. But last night wasn't actually intentional. <clears throat> so, I want to get this video uploaded. Editor, it shouldn't take too long to edit this one. And, uh. <coughs> Jesus, wept. Hay fever's been driving me nuts, and my brother. Because <laughs> he gets it as well. Alright, enough rambling. I'm gonna get this video up and uploaded and whatnot. So watching guys I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm going to show you in another video so I've got a load more stuff to bring up I've got some stuff for repairs as well I hope there's some solar garden lights I'm going to see if I can revive there's quite a few left there but they were pretty much past it beyond repair but uh, I'm hoping I can salvage these two we'll see anyway thanks a lot for watching I'll talk to you all again soon bye